Good morning, everyone. Uh, you're watching a live market outlook uh, for Friday, 9th of December, 2011. Uh, rather disappointing tone uh, comes uh, from the Eurozone summit as the all eyes were turned towards uh, European leaders in their uh, today's meeting uh, <clears throat> and the hopes uh, of uh, making a good and a workable solution for current crisis are uh, now fading as the initially uh, agreement of uh, stricter uh, budget rules uh, was reached. However, the uh, failure to secure changes uh, to the Eurozone Treaty among all 27 uh, member states has uh, uh, triggered again the negative sentiment in the markets. Uh, as a result, uh, we had a fall in uh, uh, currencies, uh, commodities and stocks overnight while the dollar uh, appreciated the, the recent uh, news that uh, were, uh, I would say, quite uh, disappointing. Uh, however, from the other side, it was uh, sort of expected a uh, certain reaction as uh, most of the European countries were not, uh, actually were not following the Eurozone rules from the beginning and uh, of course now they are uh, um, trying to avoid uh, uh, having the stricter control on their uh, uh, business and uh, this is actually the result of all this uh, despite uh, uh, heavy pushing uh, by uh, Eurozone uh, paymasters uh, Germany and uh, France as well as uh, strong support and uh, uh, push from uh, United States uh, officials. The EU leaders uh, as I mentioned agreed the stricter budget rules for the uh, Eurozone uh, but uh, failed to secure changes on the EU treaty among uh, all 27 uh, member states, meaning a deal will instead have to involve uh, just uh, Eurozone states and the other that uh, would like to join. After 10 hours of talks uh, yesterday, there was little actually concrete uh, progress among the leaders, apart from their commitment uh, to work uh, towards a new fiscal compact, the term now used for a tougher deficit and uh, debt regime to insulate uh, the Eurozone against the debt crisis. The fiscal compact has uh, uh, used for a tougher, uh, pardon, insulated debt crisis. The European Central Bank uh, President Mario Draghi called for a decision, a step forward uh, for the fiscal compact. He has said he said is necessary if uh, the 17 nation eurozone is to emerge stronger uh, from two years of uh, market uh, turmoil. Uh, he said it's going to be the basis for a good fiscal compact and more discipline in economic, in economic policy in the Euro area members. And also he said we came to conclusion that uh, will have to be fleshed out uh, more in the coming uh, days. In the run-up uh, to the summit, uh, Draghi's uh, use of the term fiscal compact has uh, sparked uh, hopes that the uh, European Central Bank would be prepared to engage in massive, uh, in massive buying of uh, bonds from distressed uh, Eurozone states and uh, an, inter an interpretation uh, he subsequently questioned. German uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel and the French uh, President Nicolas Sarkozy had wanted to get the whole uh, EU, EU to agree to change the Lisbon Treaty so that uh, stricter budget and debt rules for Eurozone states could be implemented in the bloc's uh, basic uh, law. But Britain, which is outside the Eurozone, refused to back the move, saying it uh, wanted guarantees in a protocol protecting its financial services industry. Uh, Sarkozy described the British Prime Minister uh, David Cameron's demand as unacceptable. As a result, uh, Sarkozy and uh, Merkel said uh, the intention uh, was now to forge an intergovernmental uh, treaty among the Eurozone countries and any others that wanted to join. They indicated that uh, could be up to 25 countries in all, uh, with only Britain and uh, perhaps Hungary left outside uh, the tent for now. Uh, Sarkozy said that this is a summit that will go down in history. We would have uh, preferred the reform of the treaties among 27. That wasn't possible given the position of uh, our British uh, friends. And so it will be through the Intergovernmental Treaty for 17, but open uh, to others. 
The President of the uh, European uh, Council and the Chairman of the Summit focused on the success in securing agreement for uh, tighter fiscal limits, including the need for countries to bring budgets close to balance. It means reinforcing our uh, rules on excessive deficit procedures by making them more automatic. It uh, also means that uh, member states uh, could uh, have to submit their uh, draft budgetary plans to the European Commission, he said. On treaty change, he said that the new treaty would uh, involve the Eurozone and it uh, least six uh, other countries with two more waiting for a mandate uh, to participate. An intergovernmental treaty can be approved and ratified much uh, more rapidly than a full-fledged uh, treaty change and uh, I think uh, speed is uh, also very important to enhance the credibility, he said. So we are going to see now today's uh, meeting, uh, is there going to be any of uh, significant uh, changes in the current situation? Uh, as mentioned, the negative sentiment now persists in the markets and the investors are uh, uh, more uh, scared and uh, more turning out of uh, Euro actually uh, most of the investors are already short euro, so uh, the negative uh, impact on the single currency uh, could have some uh, stronger uh, consequences uh, in the in the coming days. From uh, today's uh, calendar, a number of uh, events, uh, uh, starting from those already released, uh, Japanese uh, final uh, four quarter uh, GDP. Uh, showed improvement uh, from the expectations of 1.3% uh, uh, with today's reading of 1.4% uh, still below the previous uh, quarters 1.5% uh, uh, Japanese uh, final uh, GDP price index uh, came in negative uh, reading at minus 2.2% uh, and uh, worse than expected uh, minus 0.9% uh, along with the previous uh, a release at uh, minus uh, zero point uh, minus one point nine percent. Chinese uh, inflation uh, yearly reading uh, came uh, lower than expect expectation for today. Today's uh, forecast was four point six percent, and the release is four point two percent compared to the uh, previous release at five point five percent. Chinese industrial industrial production uh, decreased uh, to 12.4% uh, compared to expectation for today at 12.8% uh, and the previous uh, release at 13.2%. Uh, also the retail sales uh, from uh, China showed increase by 17.3% compared to forecast of 16.9% uh, and the previous release at 17.2%. Uh, German trade balance uh, also uh, narrowed from the expected 14.5% uh, 14, uh, 14 surplus. Uh, the actual uh, re result is a surplus of 12.6 uh, billion euros, uh, lower than the previous uh, month release at 15.1 uh, billion uh, euros. Uh, still to come uh, uh, from UK, the trade balance uh, that is uh, expected uh, to uh, the gap is expected to narrow to 9.5 billion uh, pounds uh, compared to the previous release at minus uh, 9.8 uh, billion pounds. Uh, the German, uh, UK PPI output uh, monthly is expected to go uh, grow by 0.2 percent compared to the previous uh, release unchanged. Uh, across the ocean, uh, trade balance uh, from Canada uh, is expected, uh, the surplus is expected to narrow uh, to 0.7 uh, billion Canadian dollars compared to the surplus of uh, 1.2 billion Canadian dollars, the previous uh, release, while the uh, U.S. Uh, trade balance is, uh, trade uh, gap is uh, expected uh, to widen uh, to 43.5 billion euro, uh, dollars, pardon, compared to 43.1 billion dollars uh, previous release. Uh, University of uh, Michigan consumer sentiment uh, due at uh, 1455 GMT is forecasted at 65.6 uh, compared to 64.1 uh, uh, previous uh, reading. Now we are uh, going to take a look on the currencies and commodities and see the technical outlook and the past uh, 24 hours uh, movements. 
uh, starting with the euro as we can see the euro was again capped at uh, 134.50 zone despite uh, yesterday's uh, break above the main uh, near term uh, bear trend line drawn from uh, 135.47 high the gains were again uh, capped at 134.58 so uh, this area is uh, actually giving a strong uh, barrier and subsequent uh, sharp uh, fall brought the the pair below the initial supports at 133.32 and 133.00 extending uh, in the late uh, hours of uh, yesterday's uh, afternoon session to 132.88 uh, mild correction was uh, capped just uh, uh, under uh, initial resistance at uh, 134 and the fresh weakness now briefly exceeded the previous low at 134.88 dipping down to 132.88 dipping down to 132.80 a current uh, bounce is seen corrective as the hourly RSI was uh, uh, touching the oversold zone uh, with the overnight's high and yesterday's intraday high at uh, 133.70 zone along with the trend line resistance at 133.85 expected uh, to cap for now and maintain the uh, short-term uh, bearish uh, tone further extension lower below the 132.80 today's low with the focus uh, uh, 132.58 the last barrier ahead of uh, 132.11 low of uh, 25th of uh, November on the upside the only break above uh, one uh, 33.85 which is the trend line resistance 134 as initial barrier and the lift above 134.50 would uh, bring a positive tone back in play and look for further extension higher at uh, 134.85 and uh, uh, our key barrier uh, above 135 is uh, 135.47 for now the hourly and the four hour studies are uh, negative and they favor the further extension lower uh, there will be risk on uh, break uh, below 132.11 uh, that uh, this is actually the last uh, barrier along with the trend line a uh, main trend line uh, support at uh, 132.00 ahead of our key uh, medium term uh, support at uh, 131.45 low of uh, 4th of uh, <coughs> October uh, we can see it more clear on the uh, weekly chart that uh, there is still attempt of uh, basing uh, at this point and the bounce higher as I mentioned I think yesterday above 136 uh, uh, is required to confirm uh, the double bottom and the possible extension uh, higher failure to do so with the signal completion of the uh, head and shoulders pattern on the weekly chart and the break below the neckline currently at 132 uh, would be very bearish for the pair uh, with the levels uh, below 130 uh, seen in the coming uh, days and weeks uh, and the possible focus of the uh, low of uh, 2011 at 128.72 uh, the British pound uh, lost the traction again after yesterday's uh, actually past two days uh, strong uh, gains <coughs> that resulted uh, in testing levels just below our uh, key near term uh, resistance at 157.77 the upside was capped at uh, 157.68 ahead of uh, sharp uh, decline that uh, brought the pair back to the uh, levels of uh, 156 uh, 155 80 this was the original uh, consolidation uh, zone uh, floor and holding above uh, this level still keeps the hopes of uh, uh, fresh uh, gains higher despite the main uh, trend line uh, from uh, 15777 is uh, now broken and the pair is trading below it However, holding above 155.60 high low of 6th of uh, December, as I mentioned, would keep the pair within the recent uh, near-term range and keep hopes of uh, possible fresh uh, attack uh, higher. <coughs> However, the weakening uh, near-term tones, as uh, we can see that hourlies are uh, firmly in the negative territory, while uh, four-hour studies are approaching their midlines and the 20 days uh, simple moving average currently at 156.44 maintaining the recent uh, down move keeps the risk uh, at the downside uh, of course we need to see the break below 155.60 in order to confirm uh, a double top at uh, 157.77 157.68 for possible uh, 
a bearish extension and a retest of uh, 154.22. This is the key uh, short-term support the low of uh, 25th of November. <coughs> Dollar yen regains strength after yesterday's uh, deep uh, uh, dip to uh, 77.10 uh, after losing 77.28. Uh, uh, strong support uh, spike low of uh, 30th of uh, November. However, the support was found uh, just above uh, 77, which is uh, our psychological support and the channel support and the quick recovery uh, returned the pair back to the previous range uh, of uh, 77, uh, 60, 70 area. Uh, for now, the critical point uh, is again at uh, 77, 50 and the uh, holding above here keeps uh, uh, hopes of uh, fresh attack uh, at our key barrier at uh, 78, where, which is also the uh, channel resistance, uh, break of which to resume the uh, bullish structure from uh, 7656 low of 18th of November and the possibility test of uh, 7810 and 7827 uh, uh, high of uh, 29th of uh, November. Loss of 7750 would be bearish again as the uh, four hour studies are still aligned uh, towards the downside and the uh, negative uh, tone persists. Uh, we need to see a break of uh, 78 uh, to improve the current uh, uh, situation. Dollar Swiss uh, remains uh, within the recent uh, range uh, holding above uh, our key support at uh, 9200 with the near-term studies uh, holding the positive tone uh, despite uh, renewed uh, attempts uh, at 93 failures uh, we saw yesterday at 92.89 and the overnight's uh, peak at 92.82 keeping the pair actually in the uh, near-term sideways uh, movements uh, four hour studies are still uh, positive uh, as long as uh, holding above uh, 20 days uh, moving average uh, 92.52 and uh, holding above uh, our key support at uh, 92.00 uh, that was uh, briefly broken by a spike uh, uh, down to 91.74 that was seen uh, yesterday. Uh, to resume the broader uh, uptrend of uh, dollar Swiss uh, seen on the daily chart, uh, we need to see the break above uh, uh, previous uh, this congestion zone uh, under uh, 93 and the test of uh, 93.13 and 93.28 uh, uh, to come in focus above uh, which to open the uh, next level at uh, 94.00 uh, uh, and 94.50 uh, on a break. On the downside uh, as mentioned uh, 90, uh, 92 is the key support ahead of uh, double bottom at uh, uh, 90.69.64 loss of which uh, would be uh, quite bearish in the on the wider uh, picture and uh, would risk again uh, the risk uh, of uh, double uh, double top on uh, uh, on the daily chart uh, would uh, come back into the focus the commodities were uh, again uh, disappointed and pressured after yesterday's uh, uh, news uh, from the Eurozone uh, summit and the immediate uh, action was uh, gold lost, uh, pardon, the crude oil lost its uh, initial consolidation uh, range broke below 100 uh, uh, support extending uh, so far below 61.8 percent retracement of the initial move from uh, 95 hour strong uh, support 97.58 low was seen 9754 pardon low seen so far uh, in early hours of uh, uh, European uh, session and the outlook uh, for now is uh, negative as shown on daily and the uh, on hourly and four hour chart uh, keeping a focus to the downside with the immediate uh, support at uh, 9725 9700 zone below which uh, would likely in case of extension uh, further uh, would open uh, our key support at uh, 9500. Uh, Before this we have at uh, 96 uh, uh, to 200 days moving average again uh, a strong point so basically holding above 96 and 95 support zone uh, keeps the uh, broader uptrend from uh, 90, uh, 74 94 in play 
our clearance of uh, 10242 and uh, 10335 is required to resume higher for possible test in the short to medium term uh, of uh, 11480 the previous high loss of uh, 96 and 94 supports uh, would be bearish short term and would risk uh, a further extension uh, lower with the levels uh, at uh, 90, 91.90 to come uh, next. Uh, gold was, gold was uh, again uh, pressured uh, uh, and failed uh, actually to clear the, the main bear trend line that uh, caps the upside uh, in past uh, couple of sessions initial attempt higher on the second of uh, uh, December was uh, limited at uh, 1762.90 however the 17, 1700 the, our key support uh, uh, zone holds for now and the, the pair is currently within the narrowing uh, range but uh, holding above uh, 1700 keeps uh, uh, hopes of uh, possible uh, extension higher and the re resumption of the recovery attempt from 1666 loss of 1700 definitely uh, turns the uh, brings the focus to 7, uh, 1671 and uh, 1666 on the upside uh, we need to see the break above 1756 and 1762 uh, static resistances uh, before this uh, 1747 uh, uh, is the uh, mere main bear trend line drawn of uh, record high at uh, 1920 and the break here uh, actually is required to uh, trigger uh, further uh, strength. A uh, lot uh, will, be, will, will be more clear today after the uh, finish of the Euro Eurozone Summit. Uh, however, nothing, uh, I, I think nothing much is uh, still to come as the main news have already been released and the possibilities of reaching something spectacular are uh, quite low. So we might see further pressure on the uh, commodities as dollar is uh, appreciating the uh, recent uh, negative uh, tone and negative news from the Eurozone Summit.